I've been noticing lately a lot on YouTube, there's a lot of people talking about no water change ecosystem aquariums and they're talking about supercharged substrates for your ecosystem aquarium and this this nonsense has to stop, it's just the saying that it's related to the wall stab method and ecosystem aquarium method and it just doesn't relate to, they, they need to read the book, these people they need to read the ecology of the Atlantic Aquarium because that book covers key concepts it covers nutrient cycle and it covers the CO2 production gas exchange in the aquarium in an ecosystem and it covers the balance of light nutrients and CO2 in an aquarium and this is more related to stuff like high tech systems and it's got less to do with stuff like no water changes or packing your substrate with nutrients I feel like that's a fundamental misunderstanding of what Diana was that was talking about in a book. Let me so this this tank here, this is the substrate is Akadama and crushed lava lock, and it's a planted aquarium. Now this aquarium has more in common with a wall stand setup than most of the people who advocate these systems, and I'll tell you why because the balance in the substrate it deals with nutrient cycling which is the the fish and plants and snails and everything it all breaks down gas exchange is going on the, the, the plant roots need oxygen so if you're creating this high nutrient content and low gas exchange environments it's not going to work for plant roots and essentially your system's going to fail because you know this it's floating plants I was talking about the wall start hack you can take this and put it on any aquarium and these are going to absorb all the nutrients out the aquarium therefore you're basically hacking the wall start system if you understand the fundamental principles of the wall start system this typically isn't associated like there's, there's no dirt in this tank but when I set this tank up what I did was I dosed with fertilizer a, a complete fertilizer until the substrate was it was processing nutrients, it was making them available and until like the, the wastes that were breaking down were starting to be built up in the substrate and that's more in line with the Wolstad method than packing it full of nutrients and creating a, a system underneath that is based, potentially anaerobic, there's going to be no gas exchange down there, plant roots need oxygen and the bacteria down there that are processing this waste, they need oxygen to perform the things in the wall stab method that you're looking for which in turn makes the health small plants the plants more healthy and it makes them grow better and like I said it's not it's getting that balance of co2 nutrients that's what creates the balance that leads to less water changes but it doesn't mean no water changes this I do massive water changes on this every now and again I like to reset the system because stuff builds up in the water column that plants don't absorb and they're not going anywhere they're staying in the water here's another example this is my shrimp breeding setup straight away it's covered in floating plants now the plants aren't doing too well which tells me that I could start feeding the system heavier to promote more nutrients but still it's still built on the fundamental principles of the wall stab method and there's absolutely tons of baby shrimp in this already but it's all in here, the gas exchange, the balance of light, nutrients and CO2 I would say, if you don't fundamentally understand these core concepts, principles of the wall stab method addressed in the book, Ecology of the Planted Aquarium you're not going to have success, you've got more chance with these no water change supercharged systems of creating a hydrogen sulfide factory which is just going to turn into an algae farm because you need gas exchange at the roots you need the at the at the substrate level you need to have the substrate processing the nutrient cycle it need the waste needs to go down needs to be broken down by bacteria microorganisms fungi molds all this needs to be going on and releasing these nutrients into the system and part of that process is oxygen is required at the roots and for these bacteria now if you're creating an anaerobic conditions at the bottom it's just going to fail and then oxygen needs to go in and co2 comes out which feeds the plants which then we get to create we create the balance of 
CO2, light and nutrients and that's when the plant starts absorbing all the nutrients out of the water. It's a simple concept and if you don't get that concept then your fish tank's going to smell like rotten egg, I'm sorry but they are.